Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so, you know, I'm having a ball with this. I think this is very funny. Um, I think this is very hilarious um, when you think about this situation with Canelo Alvarez and uh, Kayla Plant. Basically, this fight fell apart. And I knew it was going to be somebody that was going to come there and say something stupid to about town. You feel like you don't want canelo to be undisputed like dude shut shut up man i don't have no problem with whatever canelo do except when i know that he he tries to bully everybody he wants to fight in negotiations that's the problem that i have with him being a negotiation bully you know now of course canelo has came out and you know basically gave their interpretation of why the caleb plant fight fell apart still could happen but looking like it's not going to happen on September the 18th. I mean, whatever. Now, Canelo is claiming that, well, they wanted him to sign a multi-fight deal. That's documented. We know that. But, from what the PBC is saying, their people are saying that they was willing to do the one-fight deal. And that they was going to give Canelo, they pretty much gave Canelo everything he wanted and the farm. And probably including the mystery meat. You know? And basically that wasn't enough because you hear the fight fell apart over testing. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. P-E-D. Bars. I mean, I, I mean, check this out. If y'all need me to uh, write some lyrics for y'all, holla at me, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I charge 200 a song, man. So, you know. But, uh, ne nevertheless, man. Now we don't have a fight. People have long time said that Canelo is a diva. And, you know what makes me mad? They always try to compare somebody to somebody else. Try to say, well, Floyd did it. Floyd wasn't doing what Canelo was doing. Canelo tries to dictate everything. From the weight, to the ring, to the gloves all that stuff Floyd wasn't really putting hydration claw rehydration clauses in what you know all you had to do was make the weight for the fight he didn't put no rehydration clauses in his contracts but nevertheless that's what you call the boomerang theory where you put something out and they try to throw it throw it back at you but you can't compare Canelo to Floyd and that's fact and people need to just stop it. But Canelo is looking real bad in this situation. I laugh at the thought that people are really trying to blame Caleb Plant for this. Canelo walked away from possibly 50 to $55 million. Mexican TV revenue, percentage of the gate, percentage of the pay-per-views, you know, yada, yada, yada. At the end of the day, it looks bad on Canelo. You know, and I think also when it came to a certain certain degree that Canelo missed one crucial point about Caleb Plant. There was gonna be some things that Caleb Plant was gonna stand on his circle. When I give Caleb Plant credit for standing on his circle, saying, "Hey, this uh, this uh, PD thing need to be addressed and it need to be taken care of," like I said. Uh, you've heard rumors about Canelo dodging this issue for quite a few fights. Okay. Now, nobody can't sit up here and say we hating and we just make it up stuff on Canelo because Canelo has been proven to have got popped for doing this stuff. So don't even try it. Don't even try it. But maybe something could get worked out in the 11th hour, but it need to be soon because the clock is ticking. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.